April Fool's Day, um, but I do believe in Teku Tavern. Okay, so I just met Charms, who does all of the murals for Have a Heart. So they're filming a time lapse. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Oh my God.
afternoon. Hi. Okay, so today is a busy day. We are going grocery shopping. We are hitting two stores for that. Got to get some herb too. Then we're going over to Adrian's studio and they're going to paint me. Okay, we haven't had a portrait done. Got a lot of chins. We're going to see how this goes. Um, so we're going to head over there and do that. Then uh, later on we're meeting our pathology ladies for some happy hour at the Lunchbox Laboratory, which is awesome because I've never been there. It sounded like I said Lunchbox Lavatory, but I swear I said Laboratory um, because I really want to make that distinction. Anyway, so I'm about to battle traffic. I'm running a little bit behind. We're going to make this happen. We're going to make it work. Let's go. April, full effect. Bam. <laughs> The reasons, the reason we are here. Nothing better to rip your teeth out with. What are you excited about finding at Fred Meyer? Them deals. Getting them deals. Hell yeah. That's cool. Yeah, like like what we get from the... You set up the shot. I did set up the shot. <laughs> well, the shots don't set themselves. Did you see these? Look how cool these are. For your friends. But it's also just like a bit of plastic I could melt myself. So. Oh, it's cheap. It's a buck. Yes, it is a buck. But a bucket grocery outlet is not the same as this buck, is it? No! It's different! <laughs> I'm going to Central Market. What you gonna get at the market? We're gonna find out. Ooh. When you're at the Central Market shopping for bananas. Archie McPhee and it's been years since I've been here I have nothing in particular that I need but Archie McPhee is one of the best places in Seattle so you have to go I have to go let's go
Okay, there, fine. <laughs> so I'm here, you have Q's, I have A's. Q's, A's, A's, Q's, you and me, we are gonna talk today. Um, I asked out, just on Instagram, so not, not too many places, but I asked if you had any questions for me, and I did get a few, so let's, let's jump into it. Oh my God, top five countries I would want to travel to. Um, God, okay, I should have thought of an answer before I started recording. Uh, I definitely want to go to New Zealand, and I want to go to New Zealand in this way where it's like, I'm kind of afraid. Does that make sense? I feel like if I went to New Zealand, I might never come back. I mean, the, the coastlines, the beautiful beaches, the freaking Hobbit town, and like, it's just so much beautiful and amazing and the sweet, sweet, sweet Kiwis that live there. I just, um, I feel like I would never leave New Zealand, but, um, I would love to visit Peru. Oh my God. I'd be down to go to like Brussels or like anywhere in Germany. Um, oh, I, you take me anywhere. I'll go. I'll go. I, I can't say that I have five countries. I say that like, take me anywhere. I'm down. <laughs> oh my God, Africa. Rebecca, AKA the Vata Mama asks, um, are you planning to be a famous influencer because your Insta so fly you should be? Um, first of all, thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you very much. Um, I've just recently started putting my love and my heart into Instagram. Um, and I have two, so you can follow me on Brianna Ray of Sunshine. Okay, that's just me being myself weirdness happens there and then there's Brianna Ray art which you can find uh, more of a focus on me making stuff and my aesthetic um, but I've actually been putting a lot of effort into it and I've fallen in love with insta stories so follow me there if you're interested in having more of this right we're cool we're friends that's great thanks Rebecca for your question uh, am I planning to be an influencer Pff, I mean are you influenced are you cuz I'm trying goals for 2018 it's a great question, but it's a lot to answer all at once because um, we are planning to move. So first of all, 2018 is already, we're like halfway through it. If you could believe that, it is May. So we're almost halfway through the year. But so far this year, I've had a great time uh, being a docent and exhibition host at a glass museum. Uh, I've done that. And now we're actually sort of planning to move um, in the next couple uh, days <laughs> Wow so we're moving so that's a kind of a huge goal to not only just like pick up our household and move it hundreds of miles away reestablish ourselves we will be planning to open a recording studio which is awesome because we've been doing our own recording for our own band our own music all this time um, and so now to be able to offer those services commercially um, and starting with recording Matt's grandma's band grandma Joe and the boys that'll be our first client to sort of kickstart um, this whole new freaking awesome venture that has been our hearts and our passion all these years so that is a goal sunshine studios my my art studio uh, goals are to uh, find an etching press I actually want to get my own press or to get um, regular access to a press again. I really miss that. I've been still doing printmaking, uh, but doing everything by hand uh, with a with a baron, you know, <laughs> revving it out, if you will. It's it's a different thing. You can't, you can't guarantee that, that each edition is going to have that 
uh, similarity. So on the one hand, I am able to do prints that are unique and very different. On the other hand, I'm not able to offer additions, and that's part of the joy of printmaking is that you have an addition at the end of your work. Um, so that's a goal for me as Brianna Ray, art studio person. Um, goals in terms of us as people, I would say that we should take some like vacations we need to have more trips and part of moving away from Seattle away from a big city into a smaller town is that you can um, you know save for things like that and you can do more trips go out of town have um, you know just more experiences that you wouldn't have when you're pay paycheck to paycheck if you will um, so goals for 2018 yeah move establish self elsewhere uh, make art. I want to do a solid show of the new art that I'm making, which is a whole new world, uh, sort of crossing very structural, three-dimensional artwork that I'm making with guitars and like musical instruments. And then I have this very two-dimensional printmaking life. Um, and I kind of want them, I want to see what happens when they collide, when they crash together. Aside from that, ha happy, healthy, wise, those are my goals always, right? Work harder, work harder, pump it out. Uh, why are we moving? How can we move? I think is more of the question that some of my friends really, that was, that was the more accurate phrasing. It's like, how could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? Ah! And that's exactly what I thought and how I felt when I moved uh, away from Orlando, Florida. So I moved from Orlando to Seattle in October, on October 13th of 2009. Okay, 2009. And that's when I started RaysOfSunshine.com. If you could imagine, this was like, well, okay, back then I started Sunshine Press. And then later on that became RaysOfSunshine.com. But I started this online uh, writing creative community journey all these years ago based on the fact that I was picking up from everything that I knew and everything that I loved and moving somewhere very different to somewhere I also would love. I could tell that I would love Seattle. I, I felt at home as soon as I got here, as soon as I landed here. And so for that reason, it feels stupid. It feels wrong to leave because this is my home. Uh, Fremont, is the center of the universe that my my body and my spirit acknowledges and everything else is an offshoot from that that's how i function now and how i've lived for all this time <laughs> um so to, to pick up and move somewhere else on the one hand i feel very dumb feels very counterintuitive to what i know and how i feel uh, i feel really at home in belltown like dive bars and and outlandish people, like wild folk. <laughs> uh, I feel at home in a forest where I can like dance. Um, so on the one hand, city living makes a lot of sense because it's densely packed with people who I can also dance in a forest with, but it's not where the forests are. And on the other hand, I just feel like everyone smarter than me has already left this expensive ass city okay they've packed up all their belongings and they've put it in a truck and they've taken that truck somewhere the f else where you can afford to live and that makes sense that's smart that's so on the other like i can't deny that but can i get a job in this place or can my art become its own functioning life fulfilling rent paying uh, sort of lifestyle I don't know tune in next week <laughs> and find out um, <laughs> so yeah that's it that's all the questions I have next time I'll open it up to maybe Facebook and maybe I'll I don't know start tweeting twatting twit I have never twittered I have I think I have a Twitter account but I've never used it uh, but maybe I'll get into that once I live out in the country somewhere else. <laughs> oh, by the way, I guess I didn't mention, we are moving to Walla Walla on May 8th. Wednesday, May 8th? I don't believe in linear time. So I'm not sure. I think it's May 8th. Anyway, we're moving to Walla Walla, uh, which is south east. South east, wait. It's backwards for you. <laughs> Southeastern Washington. If Seattle's in the middle over here, <laughs> we're about five hours away.
over here, right? So that's the plan. We're moving there on May 8th, and right now, as you can see, there's U-Haul boxes in the back. Um, ish is getting real. It's time to pack it up, and this time, uh, next time you see me, woo, madness. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I know that that's something that you should do, right? You and me, we can agree on that. We're going to have more of this. Um, so yeah, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see the sort of day-to-day, -day, especially stories. We ha I have a lot of fun there. And um, don't forget Brianna Ray Art, Brianna Ray o Sunshine. All the Briannas. Two ends. The second end sticks it. That's really what makes it stick. So don't forget two ends. And yeah. Okay, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye!